Today we're going to be taking a look at part number CM02101. This is a SEPA retractable dock cleat. This unit's going to mount to your dock, that way you can easily secure your boat or personal watercraft. The cleat is retractable simply by pushing it down. So when it's not in use, it lays almost flush with the base. It's going to help prevent tripping or injury. And then the sides of the base have a nice angled design to them to prevent stubbing your toes or tripping. It's made from a strong nylon composite construction, so it's not going to corrode from salt in the air. Uh, it's rated at 27,000 pounds per square inch, tensile strength, and it has UV protection that's going to deflect heat up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to have the nice, clean white base with the black mounting cleat. Uh, the mounting hardware is going to be sold separately. That's not included with this part. Uh, the product is made in the USA. It's got a nice little reminder right here. Uh, it shows you the direction of pool. So you need to make sure that the direction of pool is following that indicator right there. With this part number, you're going to get one dot cleat. If we take a measurement of the actual cleat, it's going to give us a measurement going this direction of about five and seven eighths of an inch. The width of just the cleat is going to measure about seven eighths of an inch wide. You can see here that we have the hole right here in the cleat. That's going to be a little bit elongated, so going this direction. It's going to measure one inch. Going up and down, that's going to give us a measurement of one and one-eighth of an inch. The area below the cleat, right here, is going to measure uh, approximately one inch. And then out here, that's going to give us a separation of about an inch and a quarter. Now with the cleat in the up position, it's going to have an extended height measuring from the bottom of the base to the top of the cleat. We'll just lay a straight edge going across here. And we can take a measurement of that. going to measure about two and three quarters of an inch. Now with it retracted, that's going to give us a measurement of about an inch and a quarter. When it comes to just the base, measuring the length, that's going to be 10 inches. Measuring the width, it's going to be about six and a half. You can also see the nice structural support that it has. Uh, it's very strong and durable. Again, it's got that strong nylon composite construction, so this is built to last. Now, there's going to be a total of six mounting holes. These mounting holes are going to have an actual hole diameter of a quarter of an inch, and they're going to be recessed in a larger hole. That larger hole is going to measure three quarters of an inch in diameter. We're going to take a measurement of the mount hole separation that we have. So from this mounting hole to this mounting hole on center, that's going to give us a measurement of eight inches. Distance between these two mounting holes on center, it's going to measure four and a half inches. And then the distance between these two mounting holes on center, that's going to measure right at four inches. Now this product is also available in all black with part number CM02100 and you can find that right here at eTrailer.com. That's going to do it for today's review of part number CM02101. This is the SEPA retractable dock cleat.